Hello everyone, I'm Chris and in today's video I'm going to discuss the most fundamental basics of electronics which are the logic gates. I will demonstrate how I created a logic gates training board which I call the logics that can receive any logic gate and produce an output signal based on the use it gate. So let's get started. Firstly, I would like to define the logic gates categories and explain their importance. Logic gates are electronic circuits that perform logical operations on one or more input signals to produce an output signal. These gates are the fundamental building blocks of digital circuits and are used to create complex digital systems such as microprocessors, computers and other digital devices. Therefore, learning how these circuits work is essential. The most commonly used logic gates are AND, OR, NOT, NAND, NOR and XOR gates. Each gate has a unique truth table that defines its behavior and output based on the input signals. These gates can be combined in various ways to create more complex circuits that can perform more sophisticated logical operations. In this project, I will demonstrate each of these logic gates. Initially, I attempted to make the gates perform on a breadboard. However, I realized that I could design a circuit that could receive any logic gate and produce the output signal based on the use it gate. This led to the idea of designing the logic circuit board. The logic's master board has 8 bits inputs connected to slots where I can connect another small circuit board that has the logic gate. This way, I can connect the input switches to the gate and the master board has a second slot where I can connect a second gate. The inputs of the second slot are connected to the outputs of the first slot, allowing me to combine two logic gates to produce a more complex circuit. To create the logic's master board, I used Altium Designer. The first thing I considered was the small mezzanine connectors needed to connect the logic gates to the master board. I found the parts on Octopart using the manufacturer's reference and easily downloaded the CAD files to add them to my Altium circuit design. I needed 4 connectors at each slot, so in total I used 8 connectors. I placed a USB-C connector for power supply, a power on and off slide switch, and 4 slide switches for the 8 bits inputs. To make the master board look cooler, I added a NE555IC to produce a breathing light of the two LEDs as soon as I power on the master board. I transformed this schematic into a PCB design and marked the two slots through this hatchet copper port areas. I performed the connector's wiring and added the master level in a customized text font. Then I arranged the input bits and the NE555 circuitry. Here is how the master board looks in 3D view. I then generated the design related Gerber files and placed the PCB order from JLC PCB alongside with the gate stamps PCBs. And I will show you in the next video how I designed these gate stamps and how it works. After 6 days, I received the big box containing the master board and the logic stamps. The Logix master board is now ready for assembly so I applied solder paste to all the exposed parts pads and then placed the components. For manual assembly I always follow the assembly app offered by Altium 365 to avoid any soldering mistakes like misplacement or wrong part orientation. The next step is the board reflow. I used my mini hot plate instead of a hot air gun to prevent damaging the plastic housing of the mezzanine connectors. Here is a microscopic view of the soldering process. After getting all the components soldered, we clean the board using some flux removal solvent. Here is our Logix Master ready for power test and you can see the mezzanine connectors are very well soldered these two LEDs supposed to make a breathing light rhythm when I turn on the slide switch after plugging power through USB cable from external 5V power source. And here he is. The LEDs start breathing and my Logix device looks ready to receive the Logix stamps. I will show you in the next video how I prepared the Logix stamps 
and we will make a test demonstration showing how the whole gadget works, so stay tuned. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was Chris, see you next time.